All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about some viewer questions. These are some of the questions that can be answered, you know, in like 20 to 30 seconds, a little bit shorter. Doesn't require like a full length video about it, but will be helpful and I think we're great questions for you guys to hear. So Jeremy Litton asks, how often should I do these exercises in reference to circuit training? So that kind of depends on your goals, but the thing I like to say is that usually two to three times a week. The research out there has supported that if we're looking on strength training and hypertrophy gains, we want to be doing these exercises two to three times a week per muscle group. That doesn't mean you're only strength training two to three times a week, but that's per muscle group. So if you're getting your pull muscles twice a week, you're doing great. If you're doing your legs or your push exercises twice a week, same thing, that's a good frequency two to three times a week. If you're looking more for maintenance, one time a week is fine, just to kind of keep those muscle groups that you want going. Like if you want to maintain the ability to do like a pistol squat, one time a week when you're training on that is sufficient. Eric Sauber asks, how often should I do these stretches? So he's referencing to like the pec stretches or the cross body stretches, but the advice I'm gonna give can be generalized to other stretches. So with stretching, it also depends on your goals. If you're really trying to work on increasing that tissue mobility, you need to do it a few times a day. Two times is the most realistic, so that's usually what I advise people to, but one time is gonna be much slower for your changes. I like to give this kind of ratio that helps explain it for people, but if you think about, if you have a desk job and you sit for say six hours a day and your hamstring's in the shortened position, then like two sets of a 30 second stretch one time a day, one minute in total does not undo six hours of sitting. That may cancel it out so you're not gonna make those muscles tighter, but if you wanna elongate that tissue, do it a couple of times a day, maybe even three times morning, lunch, and at night. So Alyssa S asks, I was actually wondering when I should start loading the tendon. It still hurts to fully open and close my hand and it feels weak to do so. Should I work through that pain as long as it's not too bad or should I wait until it's completely healed? That's a great question. So this sounds much more like an acute injury. So if you don't have like full range of motion yet, you don't wanna be loading that tissue. A good sign of when you can start to load that tissue is when you have that kind of pain-free and nearly normalized range of motion. Once you can do that, then you can start with very like, low loads to that tissue, and that can promote that healing timeline. But if you're still having pain just like going through that range, you're not ready for loading it yet, and you're probably more in that price protocol, that protection, rise, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. All right, so Ronnie Christensen asks, I was wondering if you have a recommendation of rest between sessions, every day, a day in between, et cetera, of rehab injuries to top of these recommendations. So this is in reference to our eccentric exercises to help with our healing. So that's a great question. Now, the frequency that we can do this, it kind of depends on where you're at with your healing and how much load to the tissue you're actually putting. And some of the old original research that they've done with like Achilles healing and eccentrics, they had them doing like these high reps a few times a day. So that can be a little more aggressive. But on the other end, they've shown it beneficial when you do it like once a day or even every other day. I go with the guideline of kind of listening to your body. If you're not applying too much load to the tissue, it's okay to do it daily or like five times a week, giving yourself the weekend off. If you're doing a little bit higher load because you're a little bit further along in your rehab timeline and your tissue can handle that load, then I would prefer every other day so you let that healing cycle complete itself. So again, what we're trying to do is initiate and enhance that healing protocol. So if we're doing too much loading too consecutively, we're not really allowing it to go through that cycle before we load it again. So later in your injury timeline, you wanna do a little bit higher loading, maybe more rest days. Earlier on, if you're doing light loads with it, it's okay to do it every day or potentially twice a day, but I usually just say once a day. All right, so last one for this section for today. Anna asks, does the time between actual injury and rehab affect the growth of straight slash well-connected tendons in the elbow? It's been six months for me and I'm only starting to do eccentric exercises now. I'm a bit worried that I'm strengthening a messy version of tendons in the elbow. 
Yes, it, it does matter. So the timeline for our healing goes like between the second and fourth month is when we get a real kind of exponential increase in our healing. So a lot of the remodeling does happen in that time frame, but that does not mean you can't load these eccentric tissues. You can't do that like instrument assisted technique to help with the remodeling and strengthen that tissue back up. Our bodies are very adaptable and they will respond positively to those exercises. So it's never too late, but yes, the, the timeline for when you start it does matter. If you have a question, please submit it on the YouTube channel and we'll try and answer it either in one of these or I'll try and respond to it personally on YouTube. And otherwise, don't forget, train, climb, send, repeat. Good? Nice. It's 10 o'clock exactly, Dude, wow. Killed it today. Uh. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, I like this one. So you say, no, dang it, hold on. But that's, okay. All right. Um, okay, extra credit, the pace. So we'll have these segments. Um, so I, need, I don't, I don't wanna say the frequency yet. So two to three times a group, ah, dang it, two to three times a week. Should I just restart it? Ah. Hey, you're still here. Jason, they're still watching. Oh. hey -o. Dude, say something cool so they like the videos and subscribe for more awesome content. Um, like and subscribe for more super sweet vids, y'all. So lame, dude. So lame. I thought it was pretty good.